Welcome to Mancinelli's Math Lab. This was a requested video, so I'd like to go through this example. Um, this is, I guess, part of the section just sort of general probability. This is a nice place to start if you don't have um, maybe um, the foundation involved for the kind of, you know, the further material, joint distribution functions, multivariable calculus type stuff. So anyways, without further ado, let me go through this question. I have two events, actually. These are not random variables. I have an event E, which represents e room, uh, emergency room charges, and an event O, which are the operating room charges. We're also given that the probability that someone basically gets either emergency room charges or operating room charges, so or, is 0.85. And we're given that um, an individual, the probability that they have no emergency room charges, so here I use the tick mark as the complement, so this is the probability that is not E. In other words, that there are not emergency room charges is 0.25. And we're also given that emergency room charges and operating room charges are independent. So that means, as usual, that um, the probability that they both occur is equal to the probability uh, that the first occurs times the probability the second occurs. So by independence. Hopefully we're quite familiar with that. Um, Independence. Independence. <sighs> Whatever. So, let's answer the question of what are the probability, well, what is the probability that we basically get an operating room charge? Well, um, whenever you kind of see these two things together, um, there, there, there really are only a couple of formulas you can use. Um, the most probably typical formula is the following and use Venn diagrams if you prefer to but what we have here um, is we can say that the probability that E or U or, or O is equal to probability E plus probability O minus the intersection so probability E intersect O let's use the information that we are given Okay, so now what am I given? Well, I have probability E, right? I definitely have probability E. What is the probability of E? Well, we know um, that the probability of E is equal to one minus the probability of E complement, which is 0 0.75. Easy peasy, right? Basic stuff. So probability E is 0.75 plus the unknown probability O minus, now we do have independence, right? So we can break this up. We know what probability E is, so this is 0.75 times probability O. Now what is the left-hand side? That was given as well, so this is 0.85. So 0.85 is equal to that business. Not too bad, really. I'm pretty happy because this is a linear equation in the unknown probability O. So this is, just doing some algebra here, this is 0 0.1 is equal to probability O minus 0.75 probability O. 0.25 probability O, which means probability of O is 0 0.1 over 0 0.25, which is 1 tenth over 1 fourth, which I guess is 4 tenths, which is 2 fifths, which is the same as uh, 0 0.4. So whichever you prefer, do you like fractions or do you like decimals? That does it. Tell me what you think. Hope it was helpful.